yesterday we have time to, to prepare the match according to what we watched on the last one. And, uh, and today to, to fly here in order to have the adaptation to the pitch and that's all. At that stage of your preparations, can an extra three or four days on the training ground make quite a lot of difference? No, no, because uh, we are used to, to work and train if you play from seven to seven days, from three to four. But this is only a difference because you have five days, but it's all part of the plan. It's, it's, it's normal to us to, to prepare the things like that. Do you expect the game tomorrow to be different from the one I wrote? I don't think so. For sure the atmosphere is going to be different, but I don't feel, I don't feel that we can expect something different from the opponent. I mean, the opponent is just losing 1-0. I think they are going to, to wait for us the same way they did it in a lower block, compact, try to have some sort of transition or some chances on the set pieces. But that's mainly what we are going to expect. When you are winning 1-0, if you able to score first, it does make things taste like the body, but you confident heading into it? That's our idea. I don't get stuck to the, to the way goal, but... Uh, to win matches, so we need to score first. It's going to be very important, and it's going to be allow us to to explore the way the the game in the in the direction we want to take it. You gave a few of your new signings as a debut last week. Will you hope to try and make some more uh, debuts tomorrow? No, I think that's not the point. It's, it's not what matters now. I think uh, our concern regarding to the players and the squad is all of them have being on the same level and the same rhythm, which is not an easy task because. Uh, the times are different, the times of vacations are different, the time of preparations are different, the time of arrivals are different. So um, it's not our concern. Our concern is to give the chances and put playing those that are on the, on the better conditions at the moment that, and, and we know that they are going to perform for the team. Chris Carlos, Pena and Eduardo Pereira, are they used to more? Are they in the squad? Available? They are on the squad. Uh, uh, one of them is going to be out. We bring, uh, we bring uh, 20 players. So one of the goalkeepers is going to be out, supposedly it's going to be Liam. And between the two Mexicans, one of them is also going to be out. In terms of players, what's the situation with uh, Barry McGuire? Barry is not with us, so I don't need to talk about Barry at the moment. Uh, and in terms of players from nine, uh, how's the situation? The same. We are just focused on the guys that we are here. So if they are not with us, they don't, they don't matter at, uh, at the moment. We are just focused on tomorrow's match. It's different the situation when you refer the Mexicans because they travel with us. But at the moment we are just focused on the players we have. We are very happy with the work they are doing. We are very happy with the squad that we have from the moment. And we know that tomorrow they are going to, to do a fantastic match and still progressing in, the, in our process as a team. You mentioned last week you were keen to still try and get two or three more players in. Are you happy to bide your time and try and get those players in because you have done so much business early on? It doesn't matter now. We know uh, the time that we have until until the winter close, but uh, but we are doing our job regarding to that as well. It's not our concern at the moment. We just need to be focused on the game. After the game tomorrow, we maybe have time now, more time to start thinking about it as well. Are you confident there will be new players sooner rather later? Is something No, it's always it's always better to bring them over uh, as soon as possible. Uh, because they didn't know the process, they are new players, they are getting adapted to a new team and it's always better to have them uh, sooner rather than later. Bruno Alves has been away at the Confederation Cup, when will he join you? Will he be given a couple of weeks off now at Everhold? Yeah, Bruno definitely needs to have a couple of weeks off, I'm just uh, analysing that, I need to make that plan and I will pass to him directly maybe after the match as well. Are you confident he can play right through the summer and then he and to say make such an impact, people have said at his age he will need a few weeks off, but is his fitness or uh, levels are... No, it's a, it's, a, it's a guy that to, to, to keep playing at this level and at this age is a guy that know that his, his tool, his working tool is his body, so he's one guy that really prepares himself even in holidays, so you will see he's fitter than most of sometimes some boys from with 20 years old. What do you think you will add to the squad when the final days here? Once again, he's not here. We are, we are just concerned about the game. Uh, now to pass him the plane on the, regarding to the vacations, know when he's supposed to return and after you will, you will see what he have to the game. And we have to, the, to our game and to our squad. But uh, it fits totally on the, on the characteristics according to the, to the needs we identify between the last season and the season we are beginning now. 
James, what you're looking forward to in tomorrow night? What's a, a, a good chance for you to get through and uh, finish the job that you started last week? Yeah, you know, we're 1-1-0 we're one up and we know it's important to get the early goal and obviously keep a clean sheet as a defensive unit and, as, and, and a team. So our aim is to win the game and put it to bed early early in the game. They didn't have that many chances last week, but they did have one. Does that ensure that you can't take it for granted? It's only day one mistake. Your boys, one goal for them, that can change the complexion of the time. No, definitely. You know, set pieces will be the key for them. And, you know, counter-attacks that... They'll try and impose when we're attacking, but you know we've just got to keep a solid shape, solid base, and you know, and just try not to make any mistakes. And you know, like I said, just keep a clean sheet on the night. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's been a few years since I've played in European football, and being more experienced now, it's can enjoy it more. But I've also got a more experienced head on my. More shoulders, so you know, hopefully, can take that into the game. Was that one of the key things that you looked at when you signed Rory to the chance to get back to the level and try and go further and possibly try and use the group stages this season? Yeah, definitely. You know, we we have to we have to do that, and you know, it was a big thing coming to Rangers. You know, European football's been in the club's history for for plenty of years, so yeah, it'll no, definitely be. How have you enjoyed working with the manager this summer? Is it as a consensus like a fresh start for someone? Yeah, definitely. You know, the gaffer's brought in in some new faces, and you know, we've. We've been working really hard the the weeks that we've been in, so it's a good fresh start, and you know we're we're all really ready, well for tomorrow night and obviously the games that do come up. After the success that you and the team had in your first season, how disappointing was it not to be kicked once that last year? And what do you learn from that bad experience? Well, it's obviously it's disappointing from last season, but you have just got to push that to one side and and work on the season that's going to come up ahead. You know we're we're working really hard on the training field. We're putting it into games, and that's all that we can do. One of the main things that stood out in your game in your first season was the amount of goals that scored and the amount of assists that you had. Is that something you're looking to try and bring back into the game last season? Too? Well, if I can assist the boys when I'm further up the pitch, you know that's that's what I want to try and do when I'm up the park, but also keep a lot of clean sheets as well at the back with with the rest of the defenders and and the keeper. So you know, obviously try and score goals if I can, but um, my main is just to help the team and. Achieve, achieve our goals. How important do you think the European campaign could be in terms of going into leagues? If you can get a few games under your belt, get a few wins under your belt, you're then heading into the league, you have a bit of momentum behind you. Yeah, definitely, you know, momentum is always a great thing to have. And if we're winning games, um, you know, it'll always be a positive thing for the side and positive for the confidence of the boys. So, you know, we have to keep on winning and that's all we need to do. Is it hard not to look too far ahead in, in this competition because the fans are already looking at who they could possibly get in the third round of the big teams that are waiting in the playoff round, but your boys can't afford to look beyond the end minutes here tomorrow night? No, we only, we're only concentrating on tomorrow night and that's and that's the main aim, you know. Mm. Concentrate on tomorrow night, then we'll concentrate on, on the next game. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Uh, do you think that the match of tomorrow could turn into a tricky game or something not? Tricky, how do you mean? Tricky. But Regarding to what we can expect from the opponent, that's yeah. what you mean. No, I just I just referred that uh, before. I, I think uh, progress is going to to get on the game the same way they get on the game in Ibrox. So the atmosphere is going to be totally different. Uh, they know that just need one one goal to to equalize the game, and I think they are they 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 need to believe on it. So we just need to do our work, looking from the very beginning to to take the game to our side the way we wanted to play it and of course looking to score as soon as possible so that's what we are looking for the game knowing that the opponent supposedly is going to be more or less a, a similar approach to the game than the than the one they have in uh, back in Ibrox. Where's the danger exactly in this team? The this danger is if, if you let them give the confidence if you don't if you don't approach approach the approach the game with total focus and commitment and knowing that the only thing you need to to get from the from the beginning is win the game i mean if you think that that you are leading the game and that's enough so it's going to be a big mistake a huge mistake if we do it so we need to be focused committed from the very beginning respect all the time the opponent and try to do our football because uh, i think that's the most important thing now at at this moment of the process are there any players you liked, especially? No, the two brothers, they are good players. Uh, Francoise is also one player that plays back with um, Carpetian 
uh, on the back of Carpathian, so they are good players. Uh, he's the target player up in front, so normal is the is the one that is uh, adding or leading the counter attacks. Is also good on the set pieces. So those are the situations we need to be aware. We could not let them get the confidence to get on the game and confidence to have some sort of transitions or confidence to have some sort of set pieces and we we should be not on focus on those moments but uh, is a team that believes that did fantastic um, fantastic defensive job back in Ibrox they were really compact they were highly motivated and that's what we expect for tomorrow as well Five days ago, you said that uh, your team will be better in the second game. What does it makes you think that? Or do you still believe that? Because I do believe, I do believe strongly on my team. Of course, we were much better side than them. We need to respect the opponent, but we need also to understand the reality. We are a better side. Uh, they were better defending, and we need to improve, especially on the on the last third of the pitch, because we need to arrive more clearly. Uh, maybe we need to arrive even more often, and we need to ending training or finishing the actions also more often so that's what we are uh, we are we have identified for from the last game we worked yesterday because it was the only day we we had to prepare a little bit how to explore the spaces and how to to get better in that part of the pitch and for sure that's we are what we are going to do tomorrow do you expect something special regarding the fact that Kronschka uh, managed to 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 wait on the, on the game um, Five, five days ago, do you expect something special to, to impeach him to play? No, I don't. I don't. I expect the same approach. I mean, if they were solid defending like the like they were, in some moments of the game they could try to have some uh, some sort of uh, of offensive transitions to explore the spaces in, in our back. I think that's what they are going to do. As I told you, I heard some claps on the on their bench by the end of the game. That means that they are happy with the result. So that means they are also motivated, but I don't believe that they are going to change the approach because, um, as I told you, uh, I think they were happy the way they they approached the game, and for sure they are going to be trying the same. Are key players like uh, Nico Kramsha and Kelly Miller ready to play 90 or maybe more minutes mm -hmm. for the moment? No, we are in the process. I don't know, uh, for example, when uh, when progress did start the preseason. We started on the fifth. So that means we are uh, we are almost completely four weeks. Four weeks is, is a good is a good period of time. It's not enough period of time, but it's not a question about uh, completing the minutes. I mean, if I give you one data regarding, for example, Lee Wallace that is coming from injury, and his average about the distance covers is one kilometer above his average when he's in a normal competition. So we are not talking about fitness level. If I told you that Ryan Jack. Uh, his distance covers was 12 kilometers, 0.5, one, one, one kilometer also above the average that he, he was doing in Aberdeen. So it's not a question of fitness level with three weeks' time. So it's a question of, of understanding the game, the compact act, compactness of the team. If the team is block, uh, is compact, we don't need to run that much. We can run more intensively, and that's the way we are trying to prepare the team. And tomorrow. Uh, with five days more in front from the from the from the previous game, for sure, even in those levels of the physicality, the team will be much better as well. Just on Lee Wallace, uh, you missed a lot of working with him, was it the last season? Because if you're under pound test, have you been with him in pre season and you've seen him in the games you've played so far? Uh, Lee is that, that type of person uh, that you almost recognise immediately, so he was a very a very too kind for for us when he received us. Uh, it was that type of guy that you identify what he can give it to you. Unfortunately, get injured for that uh, amount of period. He could just play one and a half matches for us. And, uh, he did everything to return by the end of the season. It was not possible, so we agree for him to return totally, recover by the beginning of this season. And he did a lot of sacrifices, a lot of work in order to to arrive at this at this level. And for sure, he's going to keep helping us uh, as as a captain. And as a key player, that that we think that both both of our fullbacks need to have in our in our process of of, of, of the game. Will we stay as captain for the scene? Is that something? Yeah, we have we are we are getting a, a group of captains. I don't I don't believe that um, the captain is only the the one that uses the armband. Captain needs to have some sort of characteristics. Definitely, Lee is having it. 
definitely Kenny is having it, so Kenny is one of, one of them as well. Nico is another one, and we need to add two more to that group. So we have a, a close group of captains. Of course, we do all due respect to the other to the other group of players, but we all, I do believe that we have we need to have that uh, that group of more experienced, mature players in order to pass them the standards that we want, and of course to be also a link, closer link between the technical staff and the group of players. But we, we will be, we will be as club captain and continue to have the armband this season? No, of course. That's, that's one decision. We have a group and after we take the decisions, but for the moment, for sure, Lee is the captain. Okay. Uh, just uh, one special question. As you maybe know, there are a lot of Portuguese people living in Luxembourg. Do you have maybe relatives here? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, so far as I know, I don't. I don't have any relatives here, but I know that uh, we have a huge Portuguese community living here, and uh, for sure they, they will be present on the, on tomorrow's match, maybe uh, supporting progress because they have also some Portuguese players as well.